Well, hello again, and uh, welcome to some more amateur radio fun with VK6ES. I've heard uh, um, on the air a couple of times over the last few years people talking about the best ways to tune a manual ATU. Now, the way I've always done it, and the way MFJ say to tune this, is set the capacitors to the midpoint, then you rotate the inductor for the minimum SWR, then you adjust the antenna, then the transmitter to tweak it in. Others say that you set the capacitors to fully meshed and then adjust the inductor. Now, this is a T match uh, configuration ATU, and for most efficient power throughput on this type of tuner, you need as much capacitance as possible and as little inductance as possible. So, what I'll do is I'll try I'll try tuning it both ways and um, we'll just look at the the forward power meter and see if we get more power using one method uh, than the other okay so first of all the traditional method so I'll set the capacitors to halfway and I'll we want the minimum inductance so I'll actually go the other way I'll be putting inductance in I'll start at the minimum inductance point there and I'll put inductance in until for the minimum until we see the minimum SWR there we go. So that's a bit more, bit more, more, more. It's 4.3, 4.6. So that's the minimum inductance right there. So now we'll go to the antenna tune. You can see the impedance is 109 ohms there. And it's dropping like a rock. Look at that. Get that right down. 50 ohms, 1.7 to 1. Just adjust the transmitter tune. 1.5421. 0. And there you go. And that's how hard that was. So that's just tuned it using the traditional method with the capacitor set halfway. And we've got an SWR of 1, impedance of 50 ohms, uh, pretty easily there. So I'll just see how much forward power we get using that method. And sorry about this, but uh, I do have to move the lead from the analyzer to the radio. There you go, actually, I'll turn the volume down. Right, so. I don't know if you can see that, actually. It's showing just over one watt. I zoom in on that without buggering this up, that's the thing. I probably can. There we go. Where's my little pointing stick? Now the trouble is I've got the tripod between me and the gear. This is the problem, so I'm working around the tripod, so bear with me. Now this is the... the it's uh, configured for the... Um, uh, 6 watt full scale deflection on the forward power so 1 watt is there and you've got 4 and 6 watts up here so there's 1 watt right there and we can see there's absolutely no reflected power at all if you look at the reflected needle down there nothing happened and here we've got about 1 watt just a whisker over one watt. It's just on the zero of the 50 on the higher power scale there. Okay, so let's try the other tuning method and see if we get more forward power. So I need to just pan that out again. And then pan that around so we can see the tuner and the analyzer. Okay, so we'll put the analyzer back on. Okay, 
Okay, looks good. So let's now put the capacitors at maximum, like that. Go to minimum inductance. Okay, so now we've got both capacitors set to maximum. This is the other method I've heard described. And we'll start putting some inductance in and see what happens. So it's, SWR is 9 at the moment. Eight point seven, four point six, it's coming down. Two point six, wow. One point nine. One point six. Two. Okay. That's one point six. One point nine. Two point six. So it's back the other way. One point nine. One point six. That doesn't look bad at all. Maybe there's something to this other method after all. So that's the least amount of inductance we can get away with. Right, now let's try seeing what we can do with this with this tune. It's already 50 ohms. I'm trying to get that SWR down a bit. Hmm. Yeah, it's fussier for sure. It's 1.6. 1.8. 1.6. Yeah, okay. I might have to just put a bit more. Actually, let's take a bit more out on that side. There we go. And then try tuning that. Might be easier. No, it's not. Okay. That's 50 ohms. 55 ohms. Yes, it's very, you saw how easily it came in using the other tuning method. This is really quite fiddly. It's probably going to get a usable sort of match. There's 1.5. So fiddly. The other one, it just fell in, didn't it? The actual tuning just fell into place. Yeah, 1.5. I think that's probably as that's probably about as good as it's going to get. So, using that uh, using that method, we've got a lot of C in here, and actually we've got a fair bit of L as well. We've got a fair bit of inductance as well as that capacitance in there as well. But um, 1.6 to 1, 50 ohms, that looks, looks like that's probably about the best we're going to be able to manage. So let's just try um, and see, uh, putting some power through it and just see what happens. interesting. That looked like more forward power even though we had a bit of reflected there. Yeah, remember before it was just on the it was that that needle was covering the zero of the 50 so that's a needle's breadth more forward power. Although we do get just a little bit of movement on the reflected there. I'll just see if that can be nipped up a bit. There you go. Sorry about the shaking, but I'm reaching around the camera here. Yeah, okay. So now we're getting nothing. We're getting nothing reflected, 
and we're getting just that little bit more forward power. To be honest, you, it's only a needle's breadth. I very much doubt you would notice that. Bear in mind, this one is one watt. This one is one watt, so from there to there is one watt. So you can imagine what a needle's breadth is. But it's certainly much better um, uh, to tune it, much more convenient to tune it using the other method, with the capacitor set to mid-range. Um, because as you saw, you know that tune just fell into place. So you can tune it the other way, starting with the maximum capacitance, um, and you do appear to get just a just a smidge more out of it. But it, it's fiddly to do, and it doesn't look as nice a tune on the uh, on the analyzer. Um, um, so I think I'd probably be sticking with the method I've used for years, which is both capacitors. At 50%, uh, minimum inductance or maximum inductance doesn't really matter. Seems to whether you go from maximum inductance down to minimum or minimum up to uh, maximum, you seem to get to the same point anyway. Um, and uh, then so adjust the inductance for um, minimum SWR, then adjust the, the antenna, then adjust the transmitter. But start with these at the 50% position. I think looks like the way to uh, it just makes a very easy tuning obviously and uh, the, the difference is there is a difference there but it's very very slight okay well I just did this um, I've just done a few of these videos in response to a few things I've heard on the air because there's a lot of people out there that don't have don't have a technical background and they come into amateur radio and they want to get on the air and they want to talk on HF and they want to buy a tuner and put a bit of wire up and get a radio and have a bit of fun and there are some questions that are <clears throat> people take for you know um, a lot of people just take for granted that people know how to do but someone new to the hobby will buy a radio they will buy a tuner and they might not know this sort of thing uh, something as simple as that um, so uh, I thought it might be worth just uh, just doing a couple of these videos just uh, just to uh, just to answer some of the uh, some of the questions I've heard on the air over the last year or so, I've been in uh, amateur radio for uh, quite some time now. I got my license back in 1981, so I've been licensed for what 13, uh, 33 years. Um, and um, I, I'm a bit of a plastic ham myself. I've only recently started playing around with this sort of thing. I did some playing around with them uh, with some HF. Uh, uh, back in the UK, and I've done a little bit out in the bush here, but um, not very much at all. I tend to spend my time talking on um, two-meter repeaters going to and from work. So you know, it's a, it's a, it's an uh, it's an amazingly varied hobby, and there's so much in it. But um, you know, I've I've explored probably about two percent of it. So this is quite good fun for me as well, mucking around with this sort of stuff. Well, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it. That's the MFJ nine four five E with the U kits antenna analyzer trying two different methods of manual tuning to see which one was the most efficient. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.